Here we are today with Bob Peace, who, who is the artist, the production manager, the genius that put together this incredible book about an incredible vehicle, the Cord, and it's called the Cord Complete. Bob, what we want you to do is to tell us how you got the idea, how you put it together, Tell us the whole story about how you produce this fantastic book. I think we're going to have to be here for about a couple of days, okay? But I'll make it short. When Josh got together with me over two years ago and said, hey, I want to do a chord book, the ultimate chord book. Both of us have been friends and, and both own chords. And we've been on a lot of tours together and a lot of events uh, driving our chords. And I said, this is awesome. Uh, it's kind of the epitome of my career to do a book like this. And uh, we got to work. We came up with some concepts, large format, uh, horizontal, because the cord shape, the car fits that shape. Uh, ended up with a book that's 14 inches by 10. Uh, it came to grow and grow and grow. Ended up being 304 pages. And the book weighs almost uh, over nine pounds. How can we duplicate what this car is about in the form of a book that people can identify with the actual car, if not owning one. And that was the goal. Uh, the leather cover, for example, came from the inspiration of the cord leather that's in the green, uh, Ganges green paint color that's also matched with the leather. Nobody knew what the cord emblem meant. And in Latin, it means unicor unum, but in English, it's translated to one way, one heart. Not even cord people knew this. So we bring in a lot to the table, uh, not only to cord owners, but historians who love cord history. Uh, we're telling things that, that are for the first time. How long did it take you to do all this? Well, we started two years ago, and intensely in the last year and a half, it's been uh, seven days a week, uh, full time, of course, uh, 80, 70 hours a week. Uh, with the staff of me and and one assistant. You know, Bob, one of the remarkable things about this book is not only its content and its photography, but the way in which it's laid out. How did you deal with that? How did you decide where it was going to go where? I noticed that the way Josh wrote the book, it's in the first person. He's like he's talking to a friend. I came up with this idea of making sure that when you opened a spread, it was a complete thought, so that no content would carry to the next spread. Well, I was probably premature when I came up with this idea, and he said, that's what I want, do it. Well, I didn't get the copy and the manuscript or the pictures at the same time. I had holes to fill. I had uh, placeholders to put down. Not knowing what I was going to get, it was a real, real chore. And, now, but it worked. It now, worked. Uh, how do people get this book? And w how uh, is it on a website? How do they get yeah, it? Yeah, the best place is our website, cordcomplete, one word, dot com. Uh, you can order it online. Uh, it's shipped in a very heavy container, insured postage, so it arrives safely. You don't have to worry about any damage. And uh, we're doing it that way. In addition, our only retail outlets is a... Um, Auto books, Aero books in Burbank, and also the Peterson Museum, uh, the Drivers Museum in El Segundo, and the San Diego Automobile Museum at the present, in addition to the Auburn Corps Duesenberg Museum in Auburn, Indiana. But if people in other parts of the country want to buy it, they can get it from the website? Yes, they can. And we will be signing up automotive museums across the country uh, to represent us in their bookstores. Just like the car itself, this book is something that you need to see, and once you see it, you want to own it. Or as Jay Leno said this morning, if you can't afford the car, buy this book. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.